Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a full in-depth review of the Fat Rat Snacks goodie box that I got off of Etsy. She is a new shop that has just opened. She was taking pre-orders a few weeks ago, but now she is officially open. I was contacted by the owner to see if I would be interested in one of her boxes since she was just opening up her shop. And she does live in Minnesota, I'm pretty sure, and she has two boys, and she created the box basically because she liked having a good variety of treats for her rats, but she realized that it was a lot easier to buy things in bulk, so then she decided to go to open up her Etsy shop and go ahead and sell some of the bulk items that she has. I'm not sure if she makes some of the items or if she gets everything wholesale, but I will go ahead and go over what I got in my box. So this came with my box, it basically just has marked on what's actually in here. And so I will go over each thing individually. And when I opened up my box, I also had a master snack guide. And I noticed on her Etsy shop you can either request this or not request it. But it basically has everything that comes in her boxes and tells you basically, you know, what they are, like her carrot chips. I'm not sure if you can see that. Sorry, the lighting's kind of bad in this video. Um, but it's basically just carrots, a crunchy orange treat to satisfy your rat's need to chew, healthy and delightful addition to any food bowl, and it makes a good addition to a hot seven grain mix. So um, I think she actually does have her own hot um, grain mix, which is corn free, which is definitely great. And she has a lot of cool other items like peanut butter ball, banana balls. Uh, mini milk bones and some dried sweet potatoes and I think she actually does those herself. I did see a post on her Etsy page about her drying them herself. But there's a lot of cool things that you can purchase for your rat and I think all of them are definitely really healthy and it's a cool way to kind of, you know, test out a few things to see what your rats like, what they don't like. And it's also a good way to you know, test it out without having to spend a bunch of money on it. But the box comes with five to seven goodies like this in a little bag, I think, and then three like different wood shoes. And you can pick them if you want, or you can ask for a variety, and she'll pick for you, and like she did here for me. And I'll just go ahead and go through each thing that I got in the box. The first thing here were these apple cinnamon balls. And basically they're made with oats, uh, whole wheat flour, flax, applesauce, a little bit of cinnamon, and these crunchy balls are sure to become your rat's favorite, and she says that hers go crazy over them. And mine definitely did like them. These were Uno's favorite, because he has a sweet tooth, so he liked these a lot. And the next thing was just banana chips, but they were unsweetened and she made sure that she notates that in the master snack guide. These banana chips are 100% banana with zero added sugar or preservatives. And my rats really like these. All of them really went crazy over them. So it's definitely something that you can give them for, you know, a little boredom breaker since they're definitely really hard. And then the next thing was coconut flakes. And I actually put coconut flakes in my rat's seed mix. But these flakes are a lot bigger than the ones that I get. And she just has here that it's flakes of deliciously and totally unsweetened coconut chips. These coconut chips are low in salt and naturally sweet for a ratty with a sweet tooth. And I haven't actually given this bag to my rats yet, but I know they like coconut because, like I said, I put it in their own seed mix. And then the next thing I have here are chicken bites. And she has here that the chicken bites were little bits of chicken jerky dog treats, perfect for your omnivorous rat. And they're high in protein and they're perfect for growing juveniles or pregnant mothers and can be given in moderation uh, to adults as well. And I did try giving them some of these. Um, they didn't really seem too crazy over them. Once I left it in the cage, they definitely ate them. 
but they didn't they took it from me then they were kind of like i don't know what this is mom but durian and kiwi i think liked these the best which is kind of weird since they're related so maybe they just have similar taste buds and the next thing was these little tiny ratty donuts and they are the cutest thing ever of course uno ate these up since he has a sweet tooth like i mentioned before but some had coconut on it some had little sprinkles and I just think that they're so cute and they're coated in dark chocolate, which is okay for rats to eat. And they're just little Cheerios. And I thought those were really cute and creative. And then the next thing was a split pea mix, which is organic. And I do give my rats um, split peas and lentils, but they don't seem to like it raw. They only like them when they've been boiled in hot water for a little bit. So she says here that you can use them for training or mixed in oatmeal or in her seven grain mix that she has or any kind of seven grain mix that you want to make for your rats. But um, I haven't given this specific bag to them yet, but I know that they do like them if I go ahead and heat them up for them. And then the next thing was whole hazelnuts, and all of the rats really liked these. I had given these to them before, but it had been quite a while. Actually, I don't think... I haven't given whole nuts to this group of rats that I have, but I have given them to my past group that I had, and everybody seemed to really like them. They're a great boredom breaker, and she has on her guide that the whole shelled walnuts for your rats chewing and foraging pleasure one or two in the cage can keep your nibblers busy and then they have a delicious treat inside and these were something that they definitely enjoyed gnawing on and then in the morning they had busted them open and eaten the nut inside so since nuts are kind of fatty i don't suggest giving this to them all the time but it's definitely something good like if you can't get them for free range time because you're busy that night or something like that this is definitely something good to give them to keep them a little busy so the wood that I got was a willow and apple twig as well as a grapevine wreath. So this is the grapevine wreath, which is cute. And then I'm pretty sure this is the apple twig and then this is the willow. But my rats don't really like to chew on stuff like this, but I am going to go ahead and put these in the cage just to see what they do. But they haven't really taken to chewing on like plain wood sticks like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will go ahead and link her shop below in the description if you want to check it out. And the shipping was very fast. I mean, it came within two days. I do live in the U.S., but I am states and states away from her. But it did come really quickly, which was exciting. But I do hope you guys check out her shop, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.